Three, two, one. Welcome action. to Glass Helix Shenanigans. You totally overstepped that. I did. Said action as you started. I did. I did. Totally. Ooh. Totally. We're not going to okay. cut this. <laughs> no, no, that's how it's going to start. That's how it works. So, episode one. Brand new segment. Glass Brand Helix. new segment. Glass Helix Shenanigans. Glass Helix Shenanigans. So what we got here today, Sour Warhead Beer. Sour Warhead the, Beer. Who's, I mean, I'm excited for this one. This is actually very interesting because as a kid, I had Sour Warheads all the time and I couldn't taste shit after I had Sour Head candy. <laughs> you know, Warhead candy. I mean, th this stuff is insane. So I can't even imagine what the beer is going to be like. I know. I wonder if it's really going to be like all sour like the candy was because the candy was, it really oh, punched your yeah, face. Yeah, it really punched your face. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is that we're going to take a little sample from each one into our cool little mason jars that we got here today. They may not make another appearance in any of our future videos. Uh, and uh, we're also going to talk about it. We're going to share our thoughts on this beer and, and how good it tastes. And we're going to look like complete jackasses while we do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Which one do we start with? I don't know. So the flavors we got here is watermelon, lemon, black cherry, and blue, blue raspberry. raspberry. So blue raspberry was always the flavor I would go to when I would eat the candy. So I think we should go for the worst one, which is lemon, which I know a lot of you guys at home are going to be like, lemon isn't the worst See, that's one. my favorite. See? <laughs> so your favorite, my worst. Let's do that one first. Alrighty. We come to quick decisions. We you do. Can tell. That's how we get things done. Uh, I feel like it's more like soda, though. Well, we, we all know that you're not a bartender. Uh, I'm not going to do any better. <laughs> Warhead, extreme sour, lemon. Salud. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, you're not even going to taste it, you just downed it like, <clears throat> it's, that was lemony. <laughs> what it was, right? What that, was, that was lemony. Is it sour though? Like, do you feel it's sour? No, no, just the lemon. Now, all I taste is lemon. You know, there was like this like candy package back when I was a kid too, called like lemon seven or something like that. And there's just like little packets with like salt lemon in it tastes like that. I don't like it. You don't like this one? No. no. It, it definitely has like a sour punch. Sour and, punch. Like, but it's mm. only like really momentarily. Yeah. That was fun. Do you, like if you were critiquing it as a beer, how if how does it taste as a beer? It's not a beer. It's not, <laughs> it's not a beer, huh? This is like an energy drink that may have alcohol in it and we don't know. I mean, I get a slight hint of beer in that. I mean, it, it looks like piss water from here. <laughs> <laughs> is it piss water let us know in the comments i don't know that that wasn't bad i, I think it's definitely yeah. sour but is it something i would drink every day no i wouldn't buy that again no let's try the watermelon watermelon it is watermelon it is <laughs> we go from one lemon to one watermelon no properly this time a little faster because you want a slight head to it that's what you do at the end well drip a little you bit didn't get there, to right? the end. okay so you didn't get any head i got some head all right so here we go watermelon this time salute salute that tastes like cough syrup <laughs> that's really bad cough syrup i prefer the lemon over the watermelon and you this, hate lemon th this is this is <laughs> Not good at oh all. My. Like lemon, I could probably like if you brought me this at a party or something, I'd probably go, huh, oh, whatever, you know, and just keep drinking it. This I would <laughs> secretly pour behind my back, and then ask for another beer when I'm walking around later. Oh, that's harsh, dude. Well, it's like it's, it's, it's a good cop, bad cop. There's a good cop that says everything's great. I'm the bad cop that says everything's horrible. This is horrible. Well, you succeeded in that. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't think it's bad, but it's like ah. definitely not something I would expect from a beer. This reminds me of one of those spicy chip challenges, and this is bad, <sighs> just bad. So you're doing this painstakingly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can't chug this. <laughs> oh, God help me. <laughs> I really don't think it's 
that bad. Like, <laughs> no. Oh, I need a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next. <laughs> no further words on the watermelon. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah, watermelon. Th that made like the watermelon? that made the lemon amazing. But did it taste like watermelon? No, not at all. Not at all. Did not it, at all. Was it sour? No. No. See, I I think it was I sour. It, I don't think it was sour either. I it's thought not, it was like crap. It's not overwhelmingly sour. It tasted it like you put piss in the refrigerator and <laughs> cooled it off and passed it off as beer. Very sorry about that. Hopefully my favorite flavors will be a lot better. I'm expecting an angry email pretty soon. Okay, let's see here. Black cherry or blue raspberry? <sighs> let's just go down the line. Black cherry. Black cherry. Oh yeah, you get the pour this time. A satisfying click. Of so the Opening of the can. After about a beer how do you feel in terms of like buzzness nah do you feel like this is giving you a, i'm a slight a alcoholic buzz so it's <laughs> it's gonna take a while uh, now before we drink this one why don't we take a sniff of it and see if we can sniff the sour okay or even the black cherry <laughs> just 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 you know okay i'm, I'm definitely getting you know, I'm definitely getting black cherry from it. I'm getting one. some cherry scents from it. So, mm -hmm. unlike the others, this one. So, in terms of aroma, it's on point. On right? point. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So. Black cherry, make me a believer. Salute. Pulls. All right. I had to stop guzzling it because this is not as good as the lemon, but it is much better than the watermelon. So, I'll keep going. I gotta say, like, it's been consistently sour to the same this level. One, yeah, this one definitely tastes more like the candy. I, I taste that sour where, like, your tongue starts getting a little numb. Like, I taste that. I feel that. I, I, I just don't know. I, I just don't know how to explain it. You know what's missing from this, I feel? Like, if it was to basically mimic the candy, I don't get the sweet taste from it, you know? Like, but would you even get that from yeah. here? No, Did you expect see, that from a beer to get that sweet see, taste? See, it, it tastes like I put a black cherry warhead in my mouth and then chase it with a beer. That, that's what it tastes like. Good description. Right? That's, <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. So for the most beer-like so far, this would be the most beer-like. For flavor, this has the best flavor out of the three so far. And out of crappiness, this is very crappy. Oh, could you imagine throwing this up? Like, say you got oh. so drunk, and you just ended up yakking this. Oh, just the coming up part? Oh my gosh. That'd be brutal. Brutal. Oh, coming man. Coming up. Oh. Uh, I mean, it's, it's bad as it is. And or it imagine eating spicy chips, and then having to go to the bathroom later, after you digest that. I struggle with that on a regular <laughs> when I eat spicy stuff. The next day is always horrible. Next day is always horrible. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, Down to the, the last bit. So before we hit the last can, a message from our sponsors, Glass Helix. Please, buy our music. Otherwise, we can't do things like this and Check give you enjoyment. On, Check us out on Spotify. Or maybe our YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Or Facebook. Or what else is out there? Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're doing okay on the Twitter. Um, yeah. So buy our music. And if you want to, we even have merch available. Merch is available. Merch is available. And we're not wearing any of it. So we can't <laughs> no. promote any of it. <laughs> but just know that it's there. Go on our Facebook. It's one of our top posts. You'll see there's a click. I mean, a link, not a click. Maybe I am getting a little tipsy from Are you this. I mean, Maybe. I'm kind Maybe. of feeling it, you know? I, I mean. You know, it's, it's, well, what is the percentage on this? It's a good question. 5% by volume. Well, that's and this is one pint. Numbers. No, it's not. So maybe it's just a rush. So here we are on our final can of the Warhead Brew. I can't even talk. Wow. This is doing the a number. Sour Warhead beer. Is we it? got blue 
Raspberry. Blue raspberry. Extreme sour. Extreme sour. Extreme sour. I mean, they're all extreme sour. Yeah. That's what they say. Well, it wouldn't be a warhead if it wasn't extreme sour. Well, let's test it and find out. Okay, I like the color. Out of all of them, this is the craziest color. The color definitely resembles like a what a blue raspberry would be, right? I mean, yeah. I'm excited about this one. You think you're gonna like this one the most? I think I might like this one the most. <laughs> I really do. Let's find out. Okay. Are you getting a blue raspberry? No, I'm getting more of a beer smell from yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not getting much blue raspberry either. This is definitely a beer smell. Yeah. Um, and if I saw this, I thought it would be a St. <laughs> Patty's beer, maybe. You know, one of those generic beers that they pour green dye in. It could probably work for Halloween. It could. And I could charge people eight bucks every time they come to my door for a sip of this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Try my crazy beer. <laughs> So, with that being said, we are both gingers, and since this looks like a St. Patty's Day beer, <laughs> happy St. Patty's happy Day. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy Halloween. That too. No sourness. I don't feel like this one's that sour. No. Really? Doesn't taste like blue raspberry either. It, I don't know, I'm getting more of a black raspberry from it, really. I guess I could say that, but what's the difference between a black raspberry and a blue raspberry? It's a good question. Like, what, what really is the taste difference between black and blue? Do you know? I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> hey, great song name, though. What? Blue. What? <laughs> I'm not much of a drinker, so... Speaking of which, every time we record, we count tons of beers right before we record any vocals. And that's how we get the Glass Helix signature vocal sound. <laughs> Depends on what you consider tons to be. Oh, tons, tons. For me, tons. tons is probably just three beers, and then that's probably because okay. his wife is watching. <laughs> no, she... my wife is filming this, so it's okay. She knows how much of an alcoholic I am. <laughs> <laughs> my verdict is: I can't finish this. This is probably the most like a warhead out of all of them. This had the sour taste to it, but tasted the best. And this is kind of in the middle. It's just there. Okay, so if we were rated it, you would go like one? One, two, three, four. Okay, there you have it, people. Like, this doesn't even need to be a part of this group. Sour Warheads beer. Who would have ever thought? It all started because we saw some post about it and we had to get some and try it. And that's how shenanigans got started. So thank you for joining Glass Helix Shenanigans. Shenanigans! Shenanigans! <laughs> Roll title. <laughs> <laughs>